Clockstep Multi has been expanded to include a swing feature. Here's a quick rundown of what that can do. I'll start with the 16th note click at 90 BPM. As in prior versions, pressing the 16th interval lets you set its volume. But if you hold the 16th interval, you access the swing setting. Starting with the natural 16th note placement, these will increase the amount of swing for the 16th interval in increments. Here's a little bit of swing that places it halfway between the 16th note and the 8th note triplet. Here's the triplet. If you wanted, you could turn the 8th note interval off. Or you could add some swing to the 8th interval too. Here's placing it on a quarter note triplet. Now what makes this different from using the triplet function? It's because there's only one instance of each interval. If I engage triplets, then the intervals become a complete triplet set. I'll turn off the 16th interval so we can have a closer listen to the 8th interval swing. There are 12 choices. I'm not sure how well the camera picks this up, but some choices are more brightly lit, indicating the natural music intervals. So you have an 8th, a triplet, and dotted. The other options are the even divisions between the natural intervals. So for instance, this setting swings the note halfway between an eighth note and a triplet. Now I'll turn the 16th interval back on, and you can hear that it's still a triplet, creating an off-kilter feel. You can do anything you want with the 16th interval without affecting the swing of the eighth interval. I'll just make it a 16th with no swing. And here again, the triplet function can override the swing settings. Note that when you have the triplet function engaged, you're locked out of making changes to swing on the 8th and the 16th note intervals. When triplets are disengaged, your prior swing settings will return. Now I'll turn off all the swing and look at the quarter interval options. There are three options for changing the quarter interval, quarter, dotted, and half. This is dotted with a little bit of 16th note swing. You might already be wondering how something like this will react to time signature changes. It's really simple. The dotted pattern will continue until the top of the bar is reached. So if you extend the time signature to 7-4 like this, the dotted pattern will extend. Or if you shorten the time signature to 3-4, you'll have a more natural swung feel using the dotted quarter. I could put the other intervals onto perfect triplets here for something a bit unusual. Now as I start moving back towards a basic 4-4 count with 16th notes, you can hear some of the potential for exploring unusual intervals on your own. So that's the flexibility of the new swing feature on the click audio. I'm considering expanding the swing option so that it can be applied to the outgoing clock signals as well. I'd like to know what you think. Would the ability to swing the clock output be something that you would actually use? You can let me know in the comments.